fight. Shalom Misfa'ak, me of Yisrael. Greetings unto the people that are listening to this video. We hope and pray that you would find this video very interesting and that the spirit of Yah may touch the hearts and the minds of the people. We are more interested in the people's souls. We're not interested in your money or anything else. We just want you to know the information of what Yah has given us through the spirit of Yah that ye, so that you may be delivered when the time of Yahshua HaMashiach come back for his people. We ask that you will give attendance to what is being said and we want you to listen, take notes, and we want you to examine each and everything. If you need to contact us, please do so at truthinyahweh at gmail.com truthinyahweh at email at gmail.com contact us and uh, uh, we'll read every every message that you send uh, and hopefully in the future we can address those which you write to us on the line as well we are going into the book of Ezekiel, which you may call Ezekiel, Ezekiel, chapter 20, and verse number starting with verse number 1. And it came to be in the seventh year, in the fifth month, on the tenth of the new moon, that certain of the elders of Israel came to inquire of Yahweh and sat before me. Okay. And the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, speak to the elders of Israel, and say to them, Thus said the Master Yah, Have you come to inquire of me? As I live, I am not being inquired of by you, declared the Master Yah. Son of man, speak to the elders of Israel, and say to them, Thus said the Master Yah, have you, have you come to inquire of me? As I live, I am not being inquired of by you, declared the Master of Yah. We have people that claim to know Yah and to believe in the word of Yah, but they're not inquiring of Yah. See, you may sit in your lay in your bed and you may call upon the name of Yah. But the scripture says, how can you hear except from a preacher? And how can a preacher preach except it be sent of Yah? When the men of Israel wanted to require of Yah, they went unto Moshe. And, and Moshe would, uh, would inform them, or Haran and his sons, which were the priests of Yah. You understand what I'm saying. All right, verse number four. Judge them, son of man. Judge them. Judge them, son of man. Judge them. Make known to them the abominations of their fathers. Make known to them the abomination of their fathers. What abomination? Our fathers were abominable unto Yah. See, we weren't, we weren't raised in this truth we were raised in other religions and we did not know this truth and not not uh, lining up with the torah we were we were worshiping in abomination unto yah we were being abominable unto yah you understand all right and you shall say to them thus said the master yahweh on the day when I, cho when I chose Israel and lifted my hand in an oath to the seed of the house of Jacob and made myself known to them in the land of Mitzrayim, I lifted my hand and in an oath to them, saying, I am Yah, your Elohim. And you shall say to them, Thus said the Master Yah, on the day when I chose when Yah chose Israel, brother, did did he chose any other nation? Only Israel. Any any other nationality? 
And people would hear us say this, but yet it is written, even in the King James Bible, it says Israel, but in our scripture book, it says Israel, which is basically the same thing. You understand, except for the word Israel is an English word, and Yisrael is a Hebrew word. He says, and you shall say to them, thus said the Master Yah, on the day when I, when I chose Yisrael and lifted up my hand in an oath to the seed of the house of Yaakov, to the seed of of the house of Yahweh. Remember the Yah said to Abraham, you shall be the father of many nations, but you also shall be the father of a nation that I called you to be from the, from the house of Yisrael. See, Yisrael was not established until Yahweh, even though Abraham is our father, is known as our father, but Yah quote from his seed, which his seed comes from his father Yitzhak, uh, and from Yitzhak back to Abraham, through the lineage of Abraham came his son Isaac uh, Yitzhak, and from Yitzhak to Yah quote from his seed, he said, the house of Yah quote and made myself known to them in the land of Nisraim. The land of Nisraim is a title that means a type of slavery. Nisraim, in your King James Bible, it'll say Egypt. And they'll try to say these words are similar or mean the same thing. Actually, they don't. You can say what you want. But what it is, Yah called it Mitzvahim. Man calls it Egypt. You understand? There's a difference. Why is it that man, what man says, is more important than what Yah says? He says, Mitzvahim, I lift my hands in an oath to them saying, I am Yah. Your Elohim. So why is it that man is telling other men you're not supposed to even mention that name? And Yah says, I lift my hand in an oath to them saying, I am Yah, your Elohim. I am Yah, your Elohim. Who are you going to listen to? Are you going to listen to Yah? Or are you going to listen to man? That is very important because when I listen to people talk, they talk in the way of the teachings of a man and not the teachings of the ruler HaKadish or the set-apart spirit of Yah. See, when Yah speaks, He speaks in His spirit. That's why the word of Yah said, a man, how can a man hear except from a preacher? But how can that preacher preach except he be sent of Yah? He is sent by Yah through his spirit. And he says, I am Yah, your Elohim. He said this to the house of Israel. You want to know the truth? You got to go all the way back to the house of Israel. You got to go back to the house of Yahweh, who is the who is the daddy to the twelve tribes of Israel. I didn't say Israel. If you go into into uh, uh, Israel today, they can't tell you about any other tribes. They have, you never heard them even mention about other tribes because they don't even know who they are. We know who they are and we know that they're not of the, of the lineage of Abraham. 
but we are, because the word of Yah teaches us who we are. And I thank Yah for that. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Verse 6. On that day I lifted my hand. On that day I lifted my hand. In an oath to them. In an oath to them. To bring them out of the land of Mitzrayim. To bring them out of the land of Mitzrayim. Mitzrayim. Into a land that I had searched out for them. Into a land that I had searched out for them. Flowing with milk and honey. Flowing with milk and honey. The splendor of all land. The splendor of all land. Now you know what? I can't blame anybody that anybody else that want that land. I can't blame it. Because you know, y'all searched them through the whole earth and saw that land that he searched out for the tribes of Israel to dwell in. And we shall return. We will return. All those that are right with Yah Amen. and obedient unto his Torah, his law, his commands, we will all return back. And even the Gentiles that are engrafted in will return there with us. You understand? We're not a people that say other nations can't be delivered. No, we don't teach that. We teach what the scripture teaches. Through the Ruach HaKadish of Yah. Through the Holy Spirit of Yah. Who says that, and they were engrafted. Hallelujah. In. Okay, verse number seven. And I said to them. And I said to them, each one of you, each one of you, throw away the abominations which are before his eyes. Throw away the abominations which are before his eyes. And do not defile yourself. And do not defile yourself with the idols of Mitzrayim. With the idols of Mitzrayim. I am Yahweh your Elohim. I am Yah your Elohim. Throw away. The abomination. Let me let me share something with you. If you look at the word of Yah in the way we're reading, most people would look at it as a as a history uh, teaching that was some way where in the past. But have you ever heard that history repeats itself? And in this teaching. That with the Israelites, what Yah did for the Israelites when he, he brought them out of Mitzvah Guess what, my friend? You are still in Mitzvah Your ancestors were brought out from the place they call Egypt. But now we're in a new Mitzvah That's why he said, and I'll send you back. If in order to go back to something, that means you had to once been there before. I'll send you back to Mitzvah by ships. And our people from Africa, out of the land of Africa, we're not Africans. Mm -hmm. That I'm going to send you to Mitzvah by ships and our ancestors the only people on the face of the earth that went into slavery from Africa. That's why you want to call us African uh, uh, Americans, or you can say Africans in America. Same thing to me, but we're neither Africans or Americans. We are Israelites Hallelujah. from the land of Yerushalayim. And that's where we're going back. See, Yah said he searched all the land for a place that was flowing with milk and honey just for his people. Yes, we are his people. See, when you sit down, when you go into your churches on Sunday and you worship your blonde head, blue eye Messiah, which you in turn trying to worship, is that black Hebrew Israelite man whom you refuse to worship in likeness of me, but you rather have the blonde haired blue eye. Even my own people would want to worship them as well. 
But see, the truth is the truth. No matter how it hurts, the truth is the truth. And we must acknowledge that truth. Y'all said, throw away all the abominations of Mr. Throw away. We need to throw away everything. All the idols in this country. Throw them away. I am Yah, your Elohim. Again, he reiterated that he's Yah, our Elohim. Stop teaching people that you're not supposed to pronounce that name. Hallelujah. That's falsehood. That's of the devil. Yes, it is. That's of the devil. All right, next verse. But they rebelled against me. But they rebelled against me. And would not obey me. And would not obey me. Doesn't that sound like today? They rebelled against Yah. I don't care how many people we tell, uh, uh, share with them the word of Yah, about Yahweh and Yahshua. They constantly, the young man told me, he said, yeah, I did not know this. Uh, I could see Yah, I could see he started calling using Yah's name. But they rebelled against Yah. See, they're not rebelling against me. They're rebelling against Yah. I we we do our part when we share the word with other people. We can only do our part. You understand? Yah's word said for the preacher, preach the word in season, out of season. Preach the word. So that's what we do. But they rebelled against me. And would not obey me. And what? All of them did not. All of them did not throw away the abominations. See? All of them did not. Meaning maybe some did. But not all of them threw away. The abominations which were before, before their eyes. Nor did they forsake the idols of Mitzrayim. Nor did they forsake the idols of Mitzrayim. So I resolved to pour out my wrath on them to complete my displeasure against them in the midst of the land of Mitzrayim. So I resolved to pour out my wrath on them to complete my displeasures against them in the midst of the land of Mitzrayim. That's what's happening today. They were talking about that. Um. What's the name of that black woman that just died? Reefa Franklin. Yeah, I grew up. I listened to her. I even had some of her albums. I did. Wasn't worshiping y'all, but I didn't know y'all then. And and when I was thinking about her, I was thinking about her last night. I said, here she was only 76 years old. And they were talking about we we were talking about a man they recorded at 119 years old. And she is so far from that age of 76. There's no reason why a man should die at 76. Except you're not living a good life. Throw away the abominations of Mr. Ram. But y'all said they all did not throw away the abomination, meaning maybe some did. And they, and y'all said I pour out my wrath. I'm gonna tell you something. That's a fearful thing to fall in the in the wrath of a mighty Elohim. You may not think it's much, but trust me, that is a fearful thing. And nations had found out how fearful. Look at the look at the emperor of Mitzrayim when they pursued the Israelites after he let them go. And he wanted to bring them back or even to kill them. See, the wrath of Yah came upon him and his men. 
And when y'all open up the sea, that the scripture says that the Israelites walked over on dry land. You throw some water on the ground, and that ground is still wet. But there's yet a river of water. The scripture said the land was dry when the when the people walked went across on dry land, and when the Mitzrite soldiers protrude them from right behind them, Yah let the waters come upon them and destroy the armies of Mitzrayim. It's a fearful thing to fall under the wrath of a mighty Elohim. All right? But I acted for my name's sake. But I act for my name's sake. And it should not be profaned before the eyes of the nations among whom they were before whose eyes I had made myself known to them. That it should not be profaned before the eyes of the nation. You don't profane the name of Yah. How do you profane it? You, it's not just cursing at the name of Yah, but it's being of disobedience and lying on the Yah's word. You profane and saying, Yah doesn't do this and Yah don't need to do that. You profane in the name of Yah. Because Yah already told us in his word what we, are to, what we are to do. Not to profane before the eyes of the nations among whom they were before whose eyes I had made myself known to them. To bring them out of the land of Mitzrayim. To bring them out of the land of Mitzrayim. See, my friend, that was an event that the children of Israel went through in the land of Mitzrayim, whom you call Egypt, back during that time. But you know, history repeats itself. And because how do you know that? We're in Mitzrayim. Our people, y'all said, I'll, put, I'll put, bring you back to Mitzrayim by ships. When our people were brought over to this land and scattered into the four corners of the earth, they went into Mitzrayim mm -hmm. by ships. They became slaves unto other men, unto the Caucasians and the other nationalities. You understand? Our people became slaves unto that unto those people. And Yah's wrath came upon our ancestors because of their disobedience. Hallelujah. So I took them out of the land of Mitzrayim. See, I so I took them out of the land of Mitzrayim. And brought them into the into the wilderness. See, he said, and I brought them into the wilderness. Hold it. He took them the first time out of Mitzrayim. Whom Yah did not send them to Mitzrayim. Yah said, they did not even consult with him before they went into the land. See, there was a famine in the land. And the uh, Instead of calling on Yah, they took it on themselves to go find food. Because why? They heard that the Mitzrites had wheat, had grain. So they said, uh, Yah, quote, sent some of their sons to go inquire of it. But it was all still in the plan of Yah, because the one next to the baby, which was Yosef, was already there. He was the governor of Mitzrayim. So it worked out for that reason. You understand? The dream that Yosef had of them bailing down to him, he and his brothers got angry with Yosef and said, that means you, we're going to be bailed down to you. They were disturbed by that. That ain't what Yosef said. But the dream was the dream. And it actually happened that way when they came into Mizraim because they were seated around the table in the same order that his dream was. And they came to ask him for food. 
So it was bowing to him in need. See, when the Israelites went there, Yah didn't send the Israelites there. But he most certainly said, I'll sing if you don't become, if you're not obedient unto my word and obey my commands. He said, you don't obey my word, I will send you back to Mitzvah This time by ships. That's what he was so much, that's what he was saying. This time you're not going to walk and I'm not going to open up the sea for you. I'm going to send you by ships. Mesoram, it means a type of slavery, and likeness of slavery. So I took them out of the land of Mesoram and brought them into the wilderness. And I gave them my laws and showed them my right rulings. I gave them my laws and showed them my right rulings. Which, if a man does, he shall live by them. Which, if a man does, he shall live by them. If you do not live by the, the law and the, and the command or right rulings or the commands of Yah, you are an unrighteous person in the sight of Yah. He said, a man does, he shall live. If you do, you, you claim in your Christianity churches that you obey the commandments of the Most High. No, you don't. Your preacher has lied to you. You must obey the laws and the commandments of Yah. All the laws and the commandments of Yah. Not some of them. The first commandment you 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 do not obey is keeping the Sabbath day holy. Oh, we go, we'll go, we're going to get into that soon. In fact, it's next. All right. And I also gave them my Sabbaths. Also, he said, I gave them my Sabbath. Yah said, my Sabbath. So who whose Sabbath is it? It's not our Sabbath. It becomes ours because our Father says it's His. You understand? He says, I also gave them my Sabbaths. Notice the word Sabbath is plural. Hallelujah. There's more than one Sabbath. From sunset Friday to sunset Saturday is only one Sabbath. Where are the plural Sabbaths? The plural Sabbath are the feast of Yah. And when you don't keep the feast of Yah, you violate the Sabbath of Yah. You keep church anniversaries. You keep pastor's birthday, first lady's birthday, deacon day, missionary day, whatever. You keep them in your churches. But Yah says, I gave them my Sabbaths to be a sign, and what? To be a sign between them and me to know that I am Yahweh who sets them apart. See, you don't know Yah. You know of Yah. Hallelujah. This sign, to be a sign between them. Who's them? The people of Yah. The children, the tribes of Israel. You ought to follow the tribes. I'm talking to the Gentiles. You ought to follow the tribes of Israel. I'm not talking about those people in Israel. You ought to follow the tribes of Israel <laughs> to the letter. A peculiar people. A royal priesthood. Those people are not a royal priesthood. In fact, I can show you in the word that they are of the synagogue of Satan. In the book of Maasi, uh, uh, Hazan, I'm sorry, Hazan, chapter th uh, 3, Revelations 2, 2 and 3, 2 and 9, and, uh, nine. Eight and 8 and 9. 
Eight and uh, three and nine. Which one you want, sir? Give me two and nine first. Two and nine. Revelations two and nine. Revelation two and nine. I know your works. I know your works. And pressure. And your pressures. And poverty. And your poverty. Yet you are rich. You say you're poor, but yet Yah says, I know all about you. You say you're poor, but yet you are rich. And the blasphemy of those who say they are Yehuda. See, you blaspheme Yah. Because you say you are Yehuda. When you call yourself a Jew, you claim the word Jew is the same as Yehuda. You say that. Yah never said that. Because there's no J in the Hebrew alphabet. But yet, you have mastered the ink, the Hebrew language. Right. But you failed to teach people the truth. About y'all's word About my people See our language was taken away from us We have to relearn the language As we are learning who we are You say you are, are poor But yet you are rich Who say they are Yehudah And what? Say you are Yehudah And are not And are not but are a congregation of Satan. You are a congregation of Satan. Praise That's who you are. Give me three and nine. Three, eight, and nine. Yes. I know your works. I know your works. This is y'all talking. See, I have set before you an open door. See, I set before you an open door. And no one is able to shut it. No one is able to shut it. That you have little power. You have little power. Yet have guarded my word. But yet have guarded my word. And I have not denied my and have not denied my name. And have not denied my name. Why are you all denying the name of Yah? Okay. See? See? I am giving up those of the congregation of Satan. I'm giving up those of the congregation of Satan. Who say they are Yehudim. Who's the congregation of Satan? Those that are in Israel. Those that are around the world. Who claim they are Jews. Which supposed to mean the same as Yehuda. I'm giving up the congregation of Satan. Who say they are Yehudim. Who say they are Yehudims. And are not. And are not. But lie. But they lie. See? See? I am making them come and worship before your feet. I'm making them come and worship before your feet. And to know that I have loved you. And to know that I have loved you. They come worship before our feet. And by that way, we know that Yah loves us because the truth of Yah's word is in us and with us. We know the truth. Yeah. And I also gave them my Sabbath to be a sign between them and me to know, to know that I am Yahweh who sets them apart. That I am Yah. That word is Yah, not Yahweh. Yah, those are the three, those are the four letters of the textograma. That I am Yah but who set them apart. Who set them. See, we of the tribes of Israel, we are set apart from all other nations. All other nations. Well, that's why Yah says we are a peculiar people, a royal priesthood, a set apart nation. We are different. And these are the people that Yah is coming back for, that Yahshua is coming back for. All right, next one. But the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. But the house of Israel. Rebelled against me in the wilderness. They did not walk in my laws. They did not walk in my laws. And they rejected my right rulings. And they rejected my right rulings. Which if a man does. Which if a man does. Now hold on. Are we, are our people still rejecting the law 
and the right rulings of Yah today, the Israelites, they are native born. They don't even know they're native born Israelites. They are, they believe they're African Americans because everyone has told them that. So they believe that. But they still reject. They do not walk in the laws of Yah and they reject Y'all's right rulings. Which if a man does. Which if a man does. He shall live by them. He shall live by them. And they greatly profane my Sabbath. They greatly. No, come on. Our brothers and sisters are keeping the Sabbath, aren't they? They greatly profane. They greatly profane. My Sabbath. My Sabbath. And then they'll try to say, someone will try to say, Sunday is our Sabbath. How ignorant is that? They greatly profane my Sabbath. Then I said I would pour out my wrath. And then I said I would pour out my wrath. On them in the wilderness to on, consume them. On them in the wilderness consume them. Guess what, my friend? The judgments of Yah is going to come upon this nation and other nations around the world, especially where the true Yehudas are today. But the whole world is going to find out the judgments of Yah, and the wrath of Yah will be poured upon even our people that are not right with Yah. It's not just the Gentiles, because they have taken on the ways of the Gentile. They have rejected Yah. They have greatly profaned his Sabbath. And notice the word Sabbath is Sabbaths, plural. It doesn't mean just Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. It's all his Sabbaths they have. But see, that preacher you're under is not going to teach you that. Because he don't know it himself. He's the biggest partaker of the profaneness of the Sabbaths. All right? But I act for my name's sake. But I act for my name's sake. Not to profane it before the nations. Not to profane it before the nations. Before whose eyes I have brought them out. Before whose eyes I have brought them out. And myself also lifted up my hand in and, an oath. And I myself also lift my hand in an oath. To them in the wilderness. To them in the wilderness. Not to bring them into the land which I have given them. Not to bring them into the land which I had given them. Flowing with milk and honey. Flowing with milk and honey. The splendor of all lands. The splendor. The beauty of all land. Because they rejected my right rulings. Because they rejected my right ruling. And did not walk in my laws. They did not walk in my laws. And they profaned my Sabbath. And they profaned my Sabbath. For their heart went after their idols. For their hearts went after their idols. See, a lot of people are going around saying, Oh... G.O.D. is a loving G.O.D. He's going to, he, I'm, we're saved. We say because we believe, but they ain't got to do nothing. Isn't that something? They profane the Sabbath and the laws of Yah, but yet they think they're going to still make it in. He said he would not allow them into the promised land for the reason because they they disobeyed Yah's law. That's why they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. For that group to die off. And you think Yah has changed his mind? That he's going to do things differently? I don't think so. Alright, next verse. And my eye pardoned them. And my eyes pardoned them. From destroying them. From destroying them. And I did not make an end of them in the wilderness. I did not make. See, if Yah wanted to, he could have destroyed all the tribes of Israel. But what he did, as the word says, my eyes pardoned them 
from destroying them, and I did not make an end of them in the wilderness. Remember when Moshe, when Yah was going to destroy the Israelites, and Moshe opened up his cloak, and he said, start with me first. Because of the boldness of Moshe, and the love that Moshe had for the children of Israel, he reminded Yah, these are your people. All right. And I said to their children in the wilderness. I said to their children in the wilderness. Do not walk in the laws of your fathers. Do not walk in the laws of your fathers. Why not? Because the laws of their fathers were wicked. They were wicked. We are not to walk in the laws of our forefathers. We are to walk in the laws of Yah. Hallelujah. There's a difference. We don't walk in the laws of our fathers. Our fathers talked about Jesus Christo, G-O-D, this, uh, this church and that church and what church of Christianity is better than the other churches. They're all false. We're not to walk in the laws of our fathers. Nor observe their rulings. Nor observe their ruling. Nor defile yourself with their idols. Nor defile themselves with their idols. You go to the church tomorrow. You look around. Just stand outside in your vehicles and watch when the priest comes. Got that big old cross around his neck. Look like a paperweight. All right. I am Yahweh. I am Yah your Elohim. I am Yah your Elohim. Walk in my way. Walk in my law. Walk in my laws and guard my right ruling. And guard my right ruling. And do them. And don't just guard them. Do them. You got to do the law and the right rulings of Yah. All right. And set apart my Sabbaths. And set apart my Sabbaths. And they shall be a sign between me and you. And they shall be a sign between me, between me and you. To know that I am Yah your Elohim. To know that I am Yah your Elohim. But the children. That's why that sister understood, sis. She said, I know what you're talking about. You said she might have been uh, Jewish or whatever. Could have been, but that doesn't really mean anything. She could have known from someone else who who they who uh, what you are all about. You understand? When people say they understand, the first thing I think of maybe they are Seven Day Venice, and because they do this basically the same thing. They don't keep the they don't keep the the Sabbaths. They keep the Sabbath one day. But they, they understand. And there are people who out there that do understand our teaching, our way of life. But they themselves do not do it. All right, 21. But the children rebelled against me. But the children rebelled against me. They did not walk in my laws. They did not walk in my laws. And my right rulings. And my right rulings. They did not guard to do, to do them. They did not regard to do them. Which? Which? If a man does, what a man does, he shall live by them. He shall live by them. They, they profane my Sabbath. They profane my Sabbath. So I resolve to pour out my wrath on them. So I resolve to pour out my wrath on them. To complete my displeasure against them in the wilderness. To complete my displeasures against them in the wilderness. How many times have y'all said in his word, in this chapter, that they profaned his Sabbaths? Quite a few times. I lost track. Quite a few times. He's reiterating over and over again what the children of Israel did then. Which they are, they are doing the same thing today. And the judgments of Yah is going to come upon these nations and our people are going to be caught up with the Gentiles. All right. But I held back my hand and acted. But I held back my hand and acted. For my name's sake. For my name's sake. Not to profane it before the eyes of the nations. Not to profane it before the eyes of the nations. Before whose eyes I had brought them out. Whose, before whose eyes I had brought them out. 
Also myself lifted up my hand in an oath. Also I myself lifted my hand in an oath. To those in the wilderness. To those that are in the wilderness. To scatter them among the nations and disperse them throughout the lands. To scatter them among the nations and disperse them throughout the lands. Because they had not done my right rulings. Because they had not done my right ruling. Hold it. They're not. When y'all said, I'm going to send you back to Mitzvah did not he do exactly that? Mm -hmm. He dispersed the tribe of Yehuda throughout the different lands. That's why we're scattered. Our people are scattered everywhere. I told a young man the other day, I said, guess what? We are related and you don't even know it. I said, no, we don't have the same mommy and daddy, but we are related because we're from the same tribe. So we are related. We're from the same tribe. Somewhere down the line, our seed is the same. Our seed, our forefather, through, through Yaquot, was called Yehuda. That's where our seed came from, through Yehuda, which Yehuda seed came from Yahweh. You understand? Okay. Because they had not done my right ruling. Because they had not done my right ruling. And they rejected my laws. They rejected my law. And they profaned my Sabbath. They profaned my Sabbath. And their eyes were on their father's idols. And their eyes were on their father's idols. And I also gave them up to the laws. And I also gave them up to the laws. That were not good. That were not good. And right rulings by which they would not live. By right rulings which by which they would not live. And I defiled them by their own gifts. I defiled them by their own gifts. As they passed all their firstborn through the fire. As they passed all their firstborn through the fire. So that I might stun them. So that I might stun them. So that they know that I am Yah. So that they know that I am Yah. Therefore, therefore, son of man, son of man, speak to the house of Israel, speak to the house of Israel, and you shall say to them, and you shall say to them, thus said the master Yah, thus said the master Yah, in this your fathers have further reviled me, in this your fathers have further reviled me, by committing trespass against me, by committing trespasses against me when i brought them into the land for which i had lifted my hand in an oath when i brought them into the land for which i had lifted my hand in an oath to give them to give them and they saw all the high hills and they saw all the high hills and all the thick trees and all the thick trees they slaughtered their slaughterings they they slaughtered their slaughtering there and provoke me with their offerings there and and uh, there and provoke me with their offerings there and they sent up their sweet fragrance they sent up their their sweet fragrance there and poured out their drink offerings there there and poured out their drink offerings there and I said to them, and I said to them, what is this high place to which you go? What is this high place to which you go? So its name is called high place to this day. This and its name is called high place to this day. And it is. Therefore say to the house of Israel, therefore say to the house of Israel, thus said the master Yah, thus said the master Yah. Are you defiling yourselves in the way of your fathers? Are you defiling yourselves in the way of your fathers? And do you whore after their abominations? Do you whore after their abominations? For when you lift up your gifts, when you lift up your gifts, and make your sons pass through the fire, and make your sons pass through the fire, do you defile yourselves with all your idols? Do you defile yourself with all your idols? Even to this day. 
to even to this day. Or they, they teaching their sons to defile Yah with their idols of today. An idol can be anything, it's anything and everything that is not right in the sight of Yah. Do you know your, your car can be an idol? Anything you have can be an idol in the place of Yah. I wash my car on the Sabbath. That's my baby. Instead of worshiping Yah, I ain't got time to keep the feast of Yah. That's your idol. All right. And shall I be inquired of by you? And shall I be inquired by you? O house of Israel. O house of Israel. As I live, declares the Master Yah. As I live, declared the Master Yah. I am not being inquired of by you. I am not being inquired by you. And what comes up in your spirit shall never be. And what comes up in your spirit shall never be. When you say, when you say, let us be like the nations. Let us be like the nations. Like the tribes in other lands. Like the tribes in other lands. Serving wood and stone. Serving wood and stone. But did not what Yah said in the book of Wequa that you shall go into a land where you will serve wood and stone? And this is what y'all said, like the tribes of other lands, saying, serving wood and stone. As I live, as I live, declares the Master Yah, declared the Master Yah, do not I, do not I, with a mighty hand, with a mighty hand, with an outstretched arm, with an outstretched arm, and with wrath poured out, with wrath poured out. Reign over you. Reign over you. Y'all reigns over us. He really reigns over me. Hallelujah. And he, he's my father. Praise Yah. And I shall bring you out from the land people. And I shall bring you out from the peoples and gather you out of the lands. And I shall bring you out from the, the peoples. And gather you out of the lands where you are scattered. Where you are scattered. With a mighty hand. With a mighty hand. And with an outstretched arm. With an outstretched arm. And with wrath poured out. And with wrath poured out. Hold on. The first part of this message is, was back to the time when Israel was first in Mitzvah but now you see the change. Now they're scattered. The tribes of Israel was not scattered into other nations. But now we are scattered. Yah is talking about the Israelites today. He says, he says, uh, let me reread that again. And I shall bring you out from the peoples. And gather you out of the lands where you are scattered with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm and with wrath poured out. Mm -hmm. Those people in Israel are begging people for money to bring pe their, uh, their people out of Russia. They think this scripture is talking, uh, they're telling the world that this scripture is talking about them. First of all, Yah did not scatter them. See, people need to understand something. They need to listen to what people are saying. That they were not never scattered. They settled. Just, they settled. They went on their own, just like they went to Germany. Germany was the only country, the sovereign country unto the Jews, whom they accept as equal and more so. They had a right to everything in Germany. But when the things happen, it happened. But this is not talking about those people. It's talking about our people. We were scattered and we still scattered today. Our people are scattered into the into the four corners of the earth. All right, verse 35. Hallelujah. 
and I shall bring you into the wilderness of the peoples and I shall bring you into the wilderness of the peoples and shall enter into judgment with you face to face there and shall enter into judgment with you face to face there as I entered into judgment with your fathers as I enter into judgment with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Mitzrayim in the wilderness of the land of Mitzrayim so I shall enter into judgment with you declares the master Yah. So I shall enter into judgment with you, declared the master Yah. You see how it's the scripture went back to the when they were in from came out from Mr. Ram and the and the he says, and so I shall enter into judgment with you the same way he did in the wilderness he's going to do with the people that are in Mr. Ram today. I shall enter into judgment with you, declared the Master Yah. All right. And I shall make you pass under the rod. And I shall make you pass under the rod. And shall bring you into the bond of the covenant. And shall bring you unto the bond of the covenant. And purge the rebels, rebels from among you. And, and, and purge the rebels from among you. And those who trespass against me. And those who trespass against me. See, they are rebels. Transgress against me, excuse me. There are rebels among us. I think that air went off somewhere. Yeah. Just shut down. Maybe, maybe that'll give something. All right. I hope I didn't burn up his air conditioning. Hallelujah. And purge the rebels among you. And purge the rebels among you. And those who transgress against me. And those who transgress against me. From the land where they sojourn, where the land they sojourn, I bring them out. I bring them out. But they shall not come into the land of Israel. They shall not come into the land of Israel. And you shall not, and you shall know that I am your Yah. And you that I am Yah shall know that I am Yah. They will not come into the land of Israel. Hallelujah. Praise God. As for you. As for you. O house of Israel. O house of Israel. Thus said the Master Yah. Thus said the Master Yah. Go. Go. Serve each of you his idols. Go and serve each of you his idol. And afterwards. And afterwards. If you are not listening to me. And if you are not listening to me. But do not profane my set apart name anymore. And, but do not profane my set apart name anymore. With your gifts and your idols. With your gifts and your idols. For on my set apart mountain. For on my set apart mountain. On the mountain height. Of Israel on the mountain height of Israel declares the master Yah declared the master Yah there all the house of Israel there all the house of Israel all of them in the land all of them in the land shall serve me shall serve me there I shall accept them there I shall accept them and there I shall require your offering there I shall require your offering and the first fruits of your offering and the first fruits of your offering together with all your set apart gifts with all your set apart gifts as a sweet fragrance I shall accept you as a sweet fragrance I shall accept you when I bring you out from the peoples when I bring you out from the peoples and I shall gather you out of the lands I shall notice the word peoples is plural as well. He says, and I shall gather you out of the lands which is plural. Where you have been scattered. Where you have been scattered. scattered. Why? Scattered. Because the Yehudas are scattered around the earth. All right. And I shall be set apart in you before the nation. And I shall be set apart in you before the nation. In you. Hallelujah. And you shall know that I am Yah when I bring you into the land of Israel. 
And you shall know that I am Yah when I bring you into the land of Israel. This is telling me that the nations are going to see this. In order for them to know it, they are going to see this. Hallelujah. All right. Into the land for which I lifted my hand. Into the land which I lifted my hand. In an oath. In an oath. To give to your father. To give to your father. He's saying the same land that I lifted my hand in the oath to Abraham, Yishet, and Yaakov, I'm going to give to you. I'm going to give the, uh, where I lifted my hand in the oath to give to your fathers. And there you shall remember your ways. And there you shall remember your ways. And all your deeds. And all your deeds. With which you were defiled. Which you were defiled. And you shall loathe yourselves in your own sight. And you shall loathe yourself. Loathe. The word loft, what does it mean? It means to strongly re reject. Strongly reject. He says, and you shall love yourself in your own sight. Because of all the evils that you did. Because of all the evils. That you did. You shall know that I am. I am Yah. And you shall know that I am Yah. When I have dealt with you for my name's sake. When I have dealt with you for my name's sake. Not according to your evil ways. Not according to your evil ways. Nor according to your corrupt deeds. Not according to your corrupt deeds. O house of Israel. O house of Israel. Declares the Master Yah. Declared the Master Yah. And the word of Yah came to me saying. And the word of Yah came to me saying. Son of man. Son of man. Set your face toward the south. Set your face towards the south. And drop word against the south. Drop word against the south. And prophesy against the forest land. Prophesy against the forest land. The south. The south. And you shall say to the forest of the south. And you shall say to the forest of the south. Hear the word of Yahweh. Hear, Yah. hear the word of Yah. Thus said the master Yah. Thus said the master Yah. See. I am kindling a fire in you. See, I am kindling a fire in you. And it shall devour every green tree. And it shall devour every green tree. And every dry tree in you. And every dry tree in you. The blazing flame is not quenched. And the blazing flame is not quenched. And it shall burn all faces. And it shall burn all faces. From the south to the north. From the south to the north. And all flesh shall see that I am Yah. And all flesh. What about some flesh? He said all. All flesh shall see that I am Yah. Yah. That I, Yah, have kindled it and it is not quenched. And all flesh shall see that I, Yah, have kindled it. It is not quenched. Quenched. And I said, and I said, Oh, Master Yah, oh, Master Yah, they are saying of me, they are saying of me, is he not speaking parables? Is he not speaking parables? That's the same thing they said to Yahshua. Why are you masters speaking in, in parables? The same way they're going to say to us, uh, is not he speaking in parable? Why? It is for our understanding. It cannot be for the understanding of the wicked. Because they can't understand spiritual things. Where that Yah has blessed us to understand the spiritual things of Yah. So that we can live right in the sight of Yah. The fire that quenches that is in us. The prophet said it. The word of Yah 
It's like fire in his bones. It's like fire. What does fire do? It reproves. It, it destroys that which is not like Yah. Just like the land of Israel will be destroyed by fire in order for the people of Israel to go back unto the land that is flowing with milk and honey. If you want to be a part of that journey, you must come on board of the teachings of Yah. You must keep Yah Sabbath. You heard us read, this is Yah Sabbath. It is not ours, it's not, we did not make this Sabbath. No preacher made this Sabbath. The preachers of Yah obey and teach of the keepings of the Sabbath. Sabbaths of Yah, which is the feast days as well. We look forward for y'all to come and be a part of this assembly. Contact us by email, truthinyahweh at gmail.com. Give us, write an email to us and let us know how you feel and what you would like. Whatever is on your heart, go ahead and email us and I will read your email. And maybe I will even comment it on another Sabbath day. Until then, we say unto you, my friend, we say Shabbat Shalom, Todaya, Todaya, and Todaya.